It really doesn't matter if you're book smart, street smart, or if no one ever called you smart. You could be good with numbers, good with people, or good with your hands. You might not know what you're good at yet. It really doesn't matter. Because everyone has a talent, and I will help you find yours. What does matter is what you want, because I'm going to help you get it. And when we're done, after you've journeyed further than you've ever gone before and reached heights you didn't know were possible, you will ask, is that it? And I'll say, you've only just begun. That's when you'll realize that your talent can take you anywhere. I am the University of Tasmania, and I'm open to talent. Thank you, Christy. Thank you. Well, hi there. I'm Christy. I'm from Sacramento, California, and I'm a multimedia communication student studying for my MA. This is the Townsend Building. We have several motion picture and television sound stages here, and many of the students in our motion picture and television program take classes here. Welcome to the Academy of Art University Campus Experience. The Academy campus is located throughout the beautiful city of San Francisco, California, and we've been around for nearly a century. If you want to study art in any form, this is the place to be. There are more than 17,000 students at the university, but here you are always a name and not just a number. The university makes sure you'll never slip through the cracks. They even provide academic support through our Academy Resource Center. ARC provides educational support for any student to help out with all of your academic needs. Outside of class, there's so much to do. The university has all kinds of clubs and organizations, everything from the African American Club to Zumba. We also have a health and wellness program that offers recreational and health classes. And our competitive athletic program is NCAA Division II. We live in 17 different residence halls in the heart of the city. Everything from traditional dorm rooms to very cool loft style living. Our residence halls and class buildings are all secured with key or pass style entry cards. Every residence hall has resident directors and assistants, as well as roving security patrols. There are several housing distinctions here at the university. The first year undergraduate experience offers four residence hall locations, including male, female, and co-ed living. The first year experience is designed to support students in the transition from home to student life. Continuing students have housing options that offer the opportunity to live on your own, manage your community independently, focus on green living, and even cook your own meals like here in the Coco Chanel House in Pacific Heights. Graduate students and undergraduates over 21 years of age have many apartment style choices from the Leonardo da Vinci apartments to the Bluxom lofts. Speaking of meals, we have three dining facilities that offer delicious eats. Everything from grill food to made-to-order restaurant-style dining at the 620 Cafe. We can even use night cash, part of the meal plan, at restaurants and cafes located around our academic and housing buildings. There are opportunities for internships, work-study jobs, and so much more. Don't forget to check out Industry on Campus. Throughout the year, special recruiters and invited guests from companies like Mattel, LucasArts, Disney, Nike, Nickelodeon, and Pixar meet with us as part of the Academy's commitment to helping us launch our careers. It's open to all university students.
What if your university was a place where you can experience exciting things every day, where you can learn, have fun, and meet new people? I'm still surprised by all the great things happening at the University of Alberta. I'm from Egypt, but I feel like I really fit in here. I've experienced so many amazing things since I've come, and I have great balance between my studies and my social life. And I'm sure when you come here, you'll be surprised by all the great things you experience too. Alberta is a really beautiful place with lakes and mountains, natural parks and sites. There's nothing like it in the entire world. You really gotta see it for yourself. Edmonton has everything when it comes to the weather, but we almost always have clear blue skies. Even when it's cold, we're not stuck inside. We can go skiing, skating, and snowboarding. With over 160 kilometers of trails, it's North America's largest urban parkland and is close to university campus. It's a great place to go for a walk, hang out with friends, and even study. I'm really glad I chose the U of A over other schools. I really like the atmosphere here, and it's a really nice place to live. As an undergraduate student, lifestyle is a very important factor of why I choose to come here. I'm able to be independent, socialize, and focus on my studies. I came to the University of Alberta from the United States. The University of Alberta is known for its academic research, and this is one of the many reasons that I decided to come to the U of A. Students can do original research, publish it, and make a difference. My professors are understanding and knowledgeable, and my classes are interesting and relevant to my academic interests. There are many scholarship opportunities available. I received five scholarships. The campus is so beautiful, and there are so many great places to study, but since I have my own room in residence, I'd have to say that that's my favorite place to study. When I first came here, I felt extremely supportive. It was easy to make friends, and I never felt alone. The International Center at U Alberta is super supportive, and it's a great place to meet new friends. There are more than 5,000 international students from 150 different countries from around the world studying here at U Alberta. International housing here at U Alberta gives you many options. At the International House, you get to mingle with Canadian and international students and share cultures and experiences together. Living on campus is super convenient. Everything I need, like grocery stores and banks, are nearby. And getting around the city is super easy on the subway or bus system. Being part of the U of A is such a great experience. It's even better than I thought it would be. There are 39,000 students and people from all over the world. I love the diversity here. A great thing about the U of A is there's many clubs and activities. With over 400 student groups across the five university campuses, there's many opportunities to meet new people and make great new friends. Another great thing about the U of A is that there's always something happening, especially in the Butter Dome, which is one of the many athletic facilities. The U of A sports teams do very well. They've won the most national championships in Canadian university athletics in the past 27 years. So if you're into sports, the U of A is definitely the place to be. White Ave is located close to campus. Here you'll find many unique restaurants, shops, and cafes. It's the place to go to find entertainment, festivals, and arts. You'll have to check it out once you get here. There are a lot of research centers and over 400 labs here. The University of Alberta is home to the National Institute for Nanotechnology. It is one of the few in the world, and we are proud to have it in our North Campus. There are hundreds of undergraduate and graduate programs at the U of A. And of course, these degrees are recognized around the world. The U of A has 236,000 alumni worldwide. Our graduates include Rhodes Scholars and artists, they have won Olympic medals, Nobel Prizes, and even Academy Awards. The UVA is not just a great university, it's an excellent one. One where you make great new friends, you'll meet old ones, you'll have fantastic experiences, and you'll also learn a bunch of new stuff. You'll be surprised what you can achieve here. Can't wait to see you here at the UVA. Hello, my name is Scott Bradbury. 
I'm the director here at Study English in Canada, also known as SEC. Our schools in Vancouver and Toronto are designated by the Canadian government to provide language and career training to international students. Our class schedule is designed so you can choose what you want to study, when you want to study it. There are also many business and specialty classes such as customer service protocol, communications for airline cabin crew training, and business protocol. SEC has many courses to help you reach your academic goals. We provide TOEFL, TOEIC, and IELTS exam preparation courses. Furthermore, we have pathways to universities and colleges across Canada that allow you entry into their programs after you finish your English studies with us. Hello, my name is Min Ji Wan. I'm from Korea. There are many flexible classes here, such as power speaking, customer service, IELTS, and so on. So you can choose the classes that you want, that you like, that you need. So I hope many friends will come here to study English. Thank you. UCCBT, also known as Upper Career College of Business and Technology, is a provincially registered private career college that provides short-term career programs. I would like to tell you what keeps students returning to SEC and UCCBT. It's our English-only policy, which requires everyone to speak English. Part of that success is due to our nationality mix. You will often see three or four students from different countries eating lunch together because they must use English. This also gives students the confidence to go out and make Canadian friends as they become more comfortable using English with foreigners. My name is Marcos, I'm Brazilian. I come to Vancouver three months ago. I'm finishing the sex school today. I really love the time I spend here. I have friends from Japan, Korea and South Arabia. I I have friends that I will take forever in my life. I hope to come here again. Hello, my name is Victor and I'm the activity coordinator at ACC. We have different exciting activities for students to do. For example, conversation club, movie night, ACC soccer tournament for those who like sports. We like to do gas town tour as well as Robson tour. ACC will always have an amazing activity for you to do every single day. If you want more information, check out our website, Facebook page, and Twitter account. You can also contact us. We have a team of international counselors whom you can speak with in your own language. Better yet, come visit us and see why students return to SEC and UCCBT to study with us every year. In fact, I hope we see you soon. Thank you. To be eligible for a study permit application, we obviously have to have a very crucial document. It's the acceptance letter from the institution that has accepted you for their program. This is mandatory prior to filing the application. Now, which program you apply for, why you're applying for it is also very important to show to the officer. I see many applicants making the very crucial mistake of applying for a program just for the sake of getting a study permit, but then they do not make the connection of why they require to study in Canada for that program. I'll give a very common error mistake. Many individuals from an English-speaking country come and make an application for a study permit and want to study in an English program. Well, the immigration officers will come back and say, if you're coming from Sweden, or Finland or Germany or even England, these countries primarily do have English in their program. So coming to Canada does not really enhance your education or your job opportunities back home. So what program you apply for is very important. You got to link it back to what you will do with that program once it's completed back to your home country. So what we do is we look at your program of study how long you plan to study, what ties you have to your home country that will show to the officer that yes, you indeed are here temporarily and you will exit. If your program of study is something that you need help with, you could definitely give us a call prior to 
applying for that institution so that we can pro properly advise you which program might be best suited for you. So how this application is put together and presented to the immigration officer really will ensure the success of your application. Again, it's not just simply putting an acceptance letter in there and maybe some documentation to show that you financially can support yourself in Canada, but really connecting the ducks for the officer, why you're coming, how long you're staying, what you're gonna do with that program at the end of your study, etc. That's why we're here. Have you ever dreamed of studying abroad at an international university or college? ILAC's award-winning Pathway program can help you turn this dream into reality. Come and study in one of the safest, most multicultural and affordable countries in the entire world, Canada. Hi, my name is Carolyn Bursu and I'm one of the University Pathway Directors at ILAC. A great feature of our Pathway program is that you don't need to make your final university plans before arriving in Canada. After arriving at ILAC, we arrange tours and visits to colleges and universities and we have many opportunities inside ILAC to attend presentations from colleges and universities. We offer free, personalized counselling every step of the way. Our team will help you choose the best program and school for you, based on your goals and academic background. Our outstanding academic pre-degree program prepares students for Canadian university or college. Students learn how to write essays, gain presentation skills, and explore exam and research techniques. I found it was really helpful and it really gave me the skills I needed to go through my George Brown program. Seven years later, I'm still in Canada and I love the country. And on top of that, I'm working at ILAC right now as a student counselor. So if you guys have any questions about the Pathway program, you can always come talk to us and I'll be more than happy to help you guys. Not only do we focus on making sure you're ready for essays and reading and writing and speaking, but we also help to match you with the perfect university or college for you. All my students who have come back to me say that they were more prepared than students in their classroom who are actually from Canada because we really focus on making sure that all your skills are at the highest possible level. No TOEFL or IELTS? No problem. ILAC has agreements with over 55 academic institutions across our beautiful country and even in the United States. Most schools accept our pre-degree program in place of TOEFL or IELTS. And if you do need TOEFL or IELTS, our preparation program will help you get the score you need. A Canadian post-secondary education is highly respected and recognized all around the world. Our students love their time in Canada, since this is a country that helps everyone feel right at home. For those interested in doing their MBA or Master's in Engineering, ILAC offers a GMAT and GRE preparation program with the Princeton Review, the top test preparation course in the country. For those who want to study English at ILAC while developing skills in an area of interest, taking part-time courses at a university or college is a great option. Pathway even offers a gap year program with a semester at ILAC and a semester at one of our great partner schools. ILAC's award-winning Pathway program is one of the longest running and largest in Canada. Our customer service is unmatched and our friendly counsellors can assist you before you even leave your country. We have thousands of success stories, students whose dreams of studying and living in Canada have come true. We hope to help you achieve your dream of a Canadian education with ILAC Pathway, your pathway to success.
first time we took a tour around Tomba, like I just knew that this was a school that I wanted to go to. When I was reading the responses from students, it was really nice. It, it made me feel that Tumblr was the right choice for me. It was a trip coming here for the first time, being able to see, you know, a different culture. They just welcome you, and I think that's the most important thing. like the classes that I was going to have, I like the teachers that were giving out the classes. It seems to be more in depth here, you know, and there's people from the industry that teach us. They do allow a level of flexibility, allow you to pursue what you're truly passionate about. The school is really supportive. They provide support for international students. The greatest event that the International Centre hosts is the International Education Week. We were representing India. So it was interesting for me and I got a very good response from all the students, the domestic and international students. There are opportunities that exist in Humber that don't exist other places. You have an education that is, it is as good or even better than an institution that you would pay three times more. I think Hamburg could be the best choice they could ever have. It's perfectly everything a student would want to be. Go to Hamburg College. You're never going to know unless you do it. The IT industry in Nova Scotia is growing very rapidly. We are going to be a world center for analytics and for big data. Talent trumps everything. Our biggest selling feature, bar none, is the talent that we have in Nova Scotia. And a lot of that's driven by our strong academic programs, such as MTEI, that really prepare our students to compete in today's global economy. The MTEI degree is an excellent program to help students gain the ability to identify business problems and challenges and be able to understand how to apply technology to solve them. That's the real benefit here. You get that technical and technological knowledge and yet you're able to relate it to market and business. We believe that we're educating the leaders for the 21st century. They will solve big problems, not just technology problems, but societal problems. St. Mary's provided me with access to understanding business, understanding finance, understanding technology, and to actually have all those different skill sets has allowed me to propel much faster than my peers. I've gone from intern to president and CEO of a company in almost four and a half years. A lot of business people just don't understand how everything is interconnected. And and one of the things I like about educational programs, like the one being offered here at St Mary's University, it brings all those modules together. Those kind of things are very, very important for uh, entrepreneurs to understand, and that is what I look for in entrepreneurs that I invest. We want people and students who are able to demonstrate that they have broad set of experiences, so that they didn't just go to school to learn information, learn facts, but actually were able to develop and learn to analyze things. Most business degrees educate problem solvers and they try to make decision makers. This one goes beyond because innovation goes beyond problem solving. We want people who are looking to, to advance themselves further and particularly what we like to call T-shaped people. A T-shaped professional is a person that has deep technology skills but learns how to apply those technology skills across a number of different business disciplines. T -shaped people are in demand by cities all around the world, especially here in Halifax. With the MTEI program having that background in both technology and business, you're able to move through the organization much faster than anyone else. The mentorship component of the MTEI program is very important. When you're first starting a new company, you need to get connected to the people that can help you, and mentors are in an ideal position to be able to help find the resources that you need to be successful. Mentorship is something that's very important, regardless of what you do. Every entrepreneur should have an advisor and a mentor, and every other university that you'll apply for, you're going to get a great education. But at St. Mary's, uh, mentorship was something that's included as a pillar. Amazing things can happen when you have people with experience in the technology industry and then people who have brilliant new ideas and can create something better. St. Mary's University has the best faculty that I've known. The administration here takes pride in recruiting the best of the best professors around the world. And as a result of that, today St. Mary's graduates some of the top recruits in the world. The opportunities are many for students that are graduating from the MTEI program and in many respects are really limitless. It's really only determined uh, or bounded by their own innovation and creativity. And what's nice about Halifax and St. Mary's is that it can provide a lot of the resources you need to be able to get a new entrepreneurial activity off the ground. 
If you're looking to become a leader in the technology business, this is the only program that will provide you that expertise. Either you work for five to ten years in two separate businesses, or you take this program for the next year to two years. They can take the skills and the understanding that they have gained here in the program and then be able to apply it to pretty much any business anywhere in the world. Nova Scotia has proven itself in the world stage. We have over 21,000 people currently working in this sector and over 900 companies. There's a tremendous opportunity for anybody thinking about the next step in their career. There are going to be many opportunities for you here in Nova Scotia. I think the opportunities here are particularly good right now. The outside world is now looking and paying attention to what is going on in Atlantic Canada. This is Fun Fun. And this is St. Louis! St. Louis has so much to offer, and Fun Fun University is in the center of it all. Forest Park has 1,200 acres, and it's only five minutes from campus. You can walk or bike there, and you'll find the art museum, the history museum, and an amazing zoo. And it's all free. You'll find some eclectic areas and exciting neighborhoods where you can shop, grab a variety of different foods, see a concert, or just hang out with your friends. You can even catch a Cardinals baseball game. St. Louis has all you'd want in a big city, coupled with friendly people and plenty of green space. It's really comfortable, and there are tons of things for students to do. It's the best of both worlds. You'll love it here. We are Griffin Nation. And this is our city! Let's talk about getting that degree. You know, that degree you've always wanted. The one that you started towards and didn't finish. That has the potential to open new doors to you, but somehow ended up on the back burner. Right now, you may not know what's possible. You may even think it's not possible at all. Well, it is, whatever your current situation. Whether you have a little bit of this, a bit of that, and perhaps some of these, Seneca College can get you there taking what you've already accomplished, because what you've already earned should count. That post-secondary experience, diploma, and credits, and plugging it into a curriculum designed for you. Unique to your academic needs, focusing you on getting that degree in as little as two years. Whatever your reasons, new career or promotion, a raise, better lifestyle, sense of accomplishment, more opportunities, it's all possible. So, let's talk about getting that degree. Aspiring to a career in business? Your first stop should be Conestoga College, one of Ontario's premier applied business schools. You'll leave with the practical, applied experience and skills you need for a career in business. We offer a range of comprehensive programs tailored to fit today's business world. This means mapping out your education plan can be easy and flexible. Or start at any stage of life. And come from anywhere in the world to explore business. Almost every program offers a co-op placement, work placement, or the chance to work on applied projects with current industry and business partners. We build the necessary industry credentials right into your program. We've had great results with our co-op students and we love to hire Conestoga graduates. The insurance industry is a big player in this region and we need far more graduates to fill a growing number of positions available. Discover business. Take different pathways and programs and build your education year over year. We're here to help you find your way. Our Center for Entrepreneurship could be the place your business idea comes to life. With over 3,300 businesses started by Conestoga grads in our region, we know the entrepreneurial spirit lives here. We see it in our faculty, industry professionals committed to being teaching professionals. 
Our class sizes give you the chance to know our faculty, collaborate with peers, and take a hands-on approach to prepare you for the real business world. I started in a business diploma program and decided to specialize in marketing. After my co-op placement, I knew I'd made the right choice. I came here to be an accountant. I planned it out, left with a four-year degree, and the industry credentials I needed to succeed. Access to the latest technology, networking opportunities, and real experience with local business and industry prepares you to join the thousands of Conestoga graduates contributing more than $1 billion to the local economy each year. Map out your career journey at Conestoga today. What you do here counts out there. What do you want to connect with? A degree. A great job. A new career. Connect to your future at College of Lake County. Choose from hundreds of academic options. The same quality as a university, but for a lot less money. And credits transfer easily toward a bachelor's degree. I prepare my students for the real world. My classes are small. They're like a social network that helps me succeed. Connect to your future at College of Lake County. Classes start August 25th, so visit clcillinois.edu today. You should come here to Hansa. It's the best place to learn English. Monsoon, the 1960s, was founded by Hansa, a school in the area, and one of the most important schools of learning for children and more importantly, for education. If you wanted to improve your English level in the first year, or even for the summer, then Hansa will help you every year the thousands of students to achieve their goals in a faster time. For the purpose of Hansa, لمدرسة هانسا حرمان يقعان في تورونتو على بعد خطوات من محطة المترو يقدم فيها خمسون مدرساً حوالي 300 محاضرة يومياً معظم هؤلاء المدرسين تخرجوا من برنامج كلية هانسا لتدريب المعلمين المعترف به من قبل اتحاد تدريس اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة ثانية تسل كندا ووزارة التعليم بأونتاريو I love Hansa because their teachers are interesting and funny Teachers are wonderful. They are great. They are very, very friendly. I've taken many English classes here in Canada, and by far, Hansa is the best, especially the business program. I took some classes at Hansa, especially TOEFL, and it allows me to enroll in a Canadian college. Not only the teachers care about us, but All the staff as a team. يتمتع نظام هانسا بالمرونة التي تؤهله لتقديم أنواع من التعليم المعد خصيصا وفقا لمبدأ أن كل طالب فرد مستقل بذاته. بالتالي سوف يستفيد بشكل أكبر من برنامج تعليمي يتوافق مع احتياجاته الخاصة. في هانسا يتمكن كل طالب من تعديل البرنامج مع تحسن قدراته ووصوله لأهدافه قصيرة المدى. هذا النظام التعليمي المعد خصيصا يمكن الطلاب من الوصول بشكل اسرع لمستويات اعلى من اتقان اللغه. عادة يصل الطلاب خلال بضعه اشهر للمستوى الجامعي من شهاده التوفل. تجعل هانسا تعلم اللغه الانجليزيه متعه من خلال التعليم الديناميكي الذي يستخدم احدث الموارد ووسائل التكنولوجيا وعن طريق تقليل عدد الطلاب في الفصل الواحد ليصل لسبعه فقط. وأعطائهم الاختيار من بين حوالي عشرون مادة منها على سبيل المثال القراءة والكتابة، النحو، المحادثة، الاستماع، النطق واللغة الإنجليزية لإدارة الأعمال تمتد تجربة هانسا خارج الفصل حيث يقوم الطلاب بممارسة اللغة الإنجليزية من خلال انغمازهم في الحياة الكندية الحقيقية I like Hansa because Hansa's time schedule is very flexible You can choose a schedule You can choose at what time you want to start, at what time you want to finish. You can choose which part of your English you want to progress. I like more answer because answer have a small classes and I can very focus and to learn it. I'm really happy with this school because you can choose the subject that you really need and the classes are really small, so it's so easy to learn your English and improve it. They are very good host families. You live and they always help you with some things. يتيح برنامج هانسا للاستضافة المنزلية للطلاب فرصة التعرف على الثقافة الكندية عن كد من خلال الإقامة مع أسرة كندية. كما يمكننا تقديم خدمة الاستقبال عند الوصول في المطار 
لتيسير عملية الانتقال لكندا بالإضافة للعديد من الوسائل الأخرى التي تساعد على التكيف تقع هانسا في تقاطع شارعي يانغ وإجلنت في قلب تورونتو وهي محاطة بمجموعة كبيرة من المطاعم وأماكن الترفيه والمتاجر وهي قريبة من أحد مراكز الخدمة المجتمعية وكذلك المكتبة المحلية العامة والتي يتوفر فيها مراجع عديدة لتعلم الإنجليزية تورونتو بلغة قبائل الهيرون تعني الملتقى وهو اسم ملائم جداً لأكبر مدينة في كندا والتي لقبتها الأمم المتحدة مؤخراً بأكثر مدينة متعددة الثقافات في العالم تورونتو مدينة آمنة ونظيفة وتبعث على الراحة تقع على بحيرة أونتاريو إحدى أكبر بحيرات كندا وقد عرفت هذه المدينة المركزية بانفتاحها وكرم ضيافتها كما أن بها الكثير من الأماكن والأنشطة المثيرة للاهتمام So you can learn English while you enjoy Toronto. It's awesome. تنظم هانسا بشكل منتظم رحلات لمونتريال ومقاطعات كوباك ونيويورك وشلالات نياجرا وبرج سي ان كما تقدم العديد من الانشطه المجانيه مثل كره القدم والبيسبول ونادي المحادثه ولا يجب ان تفوتك تجربه الحياه البريه الكنديه من خلال رحلات الزوارق والمعسكرات في منتزه الجونكوين أثناء فصل الشتاء يستمتع الطلاب بالعديد من الأنشطة مثل التزلق والتزحلق على الجليد. ويمكنك أيضاً التواصل مع أصدقائك الجدد من هانسا على موقع الفيسبوك في الأماكن المتعارفة عليها أو في إحدى حفلات هانسا المثيرة. I love Hansa. <laughs> you can choose everything. You can learn everything. Honestly, choose Hansa and you will never regret. You should come here. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. You're gonna love it. We love Hansa. <laughs> It's the best place ever. Hansa Language Center. Now you're talking. I mean, whereas in your undergrad, it was very strict, you had guidelines, now you're very open to what you want to do and you're very free to write about what you want to write. As a graduate student, it's a lot more independent. So of course you do have coursework that you do, but even then, you're reading articles and you're contributing to discussion as a group. So you do really feel that you're making active contributions within your courses rather than just being told This is the material that's important. These are the assignments that you have to do. I think it's more of an education because it deals with every facet of the human mind. You can study what you want to study and um, engage with what you're passionate about on a more meaningful level.
The University of New Haven prepares students to lead meaningful lives in a variety of ways. We do a lot of hands-on learning and I think that by doing and applying what you learn in the classroom into a work environment, uh, into a volunteer environment, uh, that you're going to be better prepared in the workforce to be more competitive and frankly to think out of the box and to be creative and to see things that others aren't seeing on the job and therefore to excel at what you're doing. Our faculty support our students in numerous ways. Most of our faculty have hands-on experience. They've practiced what they're doing. They've worked in industry. They've worked in government. They've worked in the private sector. They support our students by helping them obtain internships, uh, volunteer opportunities, and they probably help our students more than any other faculty I've ever met by simply spending time with students, taking an interest in who they are as individuals. There's a deep, caring environment here. We build around our emphasis on experiential education. We build classrooms that facilitate hands-on learning. We have a science and engineering magnet school that will be uh, under construction this coming summer. Uh, we're opening, of course, a new residence hall, which is the second in the last five years. In addition to what we're doing here on campus, uh, purchased the former Hubble Electronics headquarters, uh, which is now home to our graduate business school. We recently opened a campus in Prato, Italy, about 20 minutes from Florence. These are just many of the ways uh, we're expanding our footprint, not just on our campus, uh, but across the region uh, and across the globe. By the time you get to your senior year, I would say that almost everybody knows each other. You've had a class with them, you're in a student group with them, you've seen them walking down uh, the street. And the classes were great, you know, the professors were encouraging of conversations in class, of being critical about the material, and just being engaged in the students' learning. Like, every single professor I've taken here absolutely loved what they taught and loved to teach. I really didn't have any big lecture classes because every class that I chose was an opportunity to get to know the professors and to develop opportunities for, for research, for talking outside of class, and for other things that really not only gave me a good academic experience while I was there, but then built that groundwork and the foundation to go on to graduate school and ultimately into a professional career. And I really feel like that's a nice benefit to have, uh, being such a tight-knit community. You get to know people really well and it helps uh, foster those opportunities that you might not get elsewhere. You have the ability at Truman to basically pursue a lot of different interests. That it's not just I'm an engineering major or I'm a philosophy major. It's a, you can major in one thing but explore a ton of different things. I feel like I'm more diverse, I'm more well-rounded. My liberal arts education has helped me to better form more of an opinion. It's not so much about being able to do one thing like perfectly, it's about the ability to learn new skills and, and be able to tackle new tasks that weren't necessarily trained for it before. I thought it was going to uh, give me the best chance of succeeding as I go forward just because um, it would set me up with the building blocks so that no matter what situation I was in I could always have a conversation with somebody. Um, you know, if I was in an interview uh, for any job you know, I could talk about a multitude of different things. And I think the liberal arts education has really really set me up well for that. As long as you have a strong base and a, a widespread skill set, then you can really shape your career and your life to be what you want it to be. You know how the saying goes, if you can walk and wrap your head around thin layer chromatography, you can go to Brock. If you can not only absorb, but embrace integrals, functions, cosines, and tangents. If you can monitor the benefits of resveratrol and red wine. If you can walk and document skeletal muscle response, you can go to Brock. If you can conduct qualitative research to determine consumer perceptions and attitudes. If you can score a high school GPA of 99.7%, like I did. If you can handle small classrooms with nowhere to hide. If you can conquer the falls or create something out of thin air. If you can handle the spotlight without wilting. If you're not one of these, if you can work late without being late. If you can not only wish upon a star, but know what it's called, fall in love or lust, psychoanalyze Freud, dream with young. If you can recite Hamlet's soliloquy, have this much desire and this much ego. If you can bring both sides of your brain to the table. If you can work as hard as you play. After all is said and done, if you can be supportive to a student you don't even know, you can go to Brock.
I'm Gary Kachanowski, President and Vice Chancellor of Memorial University. Memorial is Newfoundland and Labrador's only university. We are a multi-campus, multidisciplinary, public, teaching research university committed to excellence in everything we do. We strive to have a national and global impact while fulfilling our social mandate to provide access to university education for the people of the province and to contribute to the social, cultural, scientific and economic development of Newfoundland and Labrador and beyond. Recently, the Memorial University community, faculty, staff, students and alumni collectively developed a new vision, mission and set of core values designed to underpin and inspire all of our activities. The road to the vision, mission and values was a natural progression from extensive public consultations for Memorial University's three fundamental institutional planning frameworks in the areas of teaching and learning, research strategy, and public engagement. The frameworks reflect a true desire to distinguish Memorial as a top public university in Canada and beyond, and to ensure that we build on and pursue global excellence in our areas of strength. They demonstrate the deep understanding of the university's importance to the province and Memorial's responsibility to fulfill its special obligation to the people of Newfoundland and Labrador. Reinforcing the frameworks are the other essential parts of our institutional roadmap, including present and future infrastructure plans and strategies for advancing university education and scholarly work across a broad range of disciplines and activities. All this important work is guiding the university from now until 2020 as we make resource allocations and other decisions. Individual unit plans will align with the goals and objectives of the frameworks, as well as the vision, mission, and core values. I invite you to review the vision, mission, and values and the frameworks. Staying true to our values and guided by our frameworks, we will fulfill our mission to achieve our vision. Thank you. It was amazing. I really liked all the small classes and the intimate settings. I loved all the professors and they're like my idols now and it was a really rewarding experience. It was such a thrill to speak to folks who had applied to Algonquin College and to be the first one to tell them in some cases to check their email that they were actually accepted into the programs and some were accepted and just wanted to have a few questions answered. I'm calling on behalf of Algonquin College in Ottawa. It, my name's Cheryl, I'm the president of the college and I just wanted to um, reach out to Isaac and congratulate him on uh, applying first of all to Algonquin and being accepted. So congratulations. Their excitement and just the, that exuberance about coming to Algonquin for the program of their choice reminded me and I know reminds all of us why we're here. We're here for the students and we're here to transform lives and, and you know to remind us that we're here to give our students the skills they need for the jobs now and for the jobs of the future. Austin Monday, broadcasting, radio, television, film graduate of 2013. At the end of third year, uh, each student has to go through a, an internship uh, as part of the curriculum. So I was lucky enough to land one with Dome Productions. Uh, I was super excited about it. And to be honest, the Olympics were not, were not on my radar at all. But Dome Productions sent me out on a gig with 
a company called BSI, which is Broadcasting Services International. To me, it felt like I was treated as one of the lead guys on the crew. Which was odd, I found odd because like, I'm just, I was just this kid. And then I got an email later that said, uh, asking if I could ski for, uh, as they were looking for people to hire for Sochi. Uh, of course, I said yes right away. I was beyond excited and a couple of weeks later, I was filling out a visa form and I was on a plane to Russia. <laughs> So in the mornings we would come up and we'd start at the top and everyone would ski down together or try to ski down together. Uh, this is, would be the commentary booths that we're feeding uh, a video feed into the booths. So this cable that we're feeding comes from the compound which is like three stories down and then probably 500 meters, at least 500 meters uh, to the right. We were doing the host feed. With, without the host feed, like that's the main cable that the rest of the world takes to see those games. So it's a clean feed that we, take, that we would bring down and then other broadcasting or other networks will take that feed and put their own graphics on it. I took it as like, this is just another Niagara College production and like, this is what I, this is what I know how to do. I know how to do it. And I didn't, I didn't try to like, I didn't let that moment of like, oh, this is really important, get over the fact that like, I know how to do this. It's cool that Niagara College is teaching students in a way that reflects the, on the industry. It's the same coming out of Niagara College, going right into the industry, which, is the, which was the biggest surprise to me. Uh, it was exciting in that way that, that I got there and I, I felt like I knew, I know this stuff and I know how this works and I know that I can do this. There is only one Tasmania, a rich intersection of pristine environment, diverse population, and unique opportunities to explore the frontiers of human knowledge. Just as there is only one Tasmania, there is only one University of Tasmania. Woven into the very fabric of our community, our university embraces our rich history, our vibrant present, and our even brighter future. We are an island of around half a million people in the Southern Ocean, but we're not isolated in our thinking or our view of the world. It's characteristic of our graduates to develop their abilities on our island, but at the same time, maintain a global outward focus. I speak of the University of Tasmania as a bridge to the world, a bridge to the world of ideas, a bridge to the world of ethnicities and of cultures. We have always brought the world to this island and we have always brought this island to the world. Today, we have graduates contributing to the global community in over 120 countries, and our research continues to be of international significance. If you look at our journey over 125 years, there are themes that become apparent. We have always been highly research focused, focused on discovery for the benefit of our state. Over 125 years, the most spectacular change, I think, is in the reach of our education programs. We now have 32,000 students at the University of Tasmania. We have campuses in each of the key regions of Tasmania and in China. It's a story that speaks to an expanded endeavour to engage students in the interests of their own lives and in an understanding that that is best done by matching their educational experience with very strong research programs that inform the curriculum. We are a university of transformative opportunity, strengthened by the natural characteristics of our unique island. In this, our 125th year, please join us in celebrating what we've already achieved and together look forward to a bright and shining future.